That's a new one from the man with the freight train sonata, Johannes Brahms. Brahmsy, right here on ABC FM. Okay, time to go to the callers. Find out why you've made the switch to better classical music and more of it. ABC FM. Hello, Jeff. Hi, I've made the switch to ABC FM because I like the mix of 17th century opera and lesser known concertos by Konstantin Rimsky Korsakov and Bella Bartok. Bella Bartok playing the art centre this Friday, thanks to who, Jeff? ABC FM. That's right, you've gone into the draw for that fantastic trip for two to the Bartok Cafe in New York. Excellent. Can I just say I love waking up to the Gregorian crew and driving home with Wagner Vivaldi. Okay, thanks, mate. We'll be back with less talk and more Mozart right here on ABC FM. Where we give you not one, not two, but three tenors. Yeah, triple your tenors. Playing the Opera House this Thursday. Look for the ABC FM. Big gramophone parked out the front. Score yourself a bow tie. Okay, time to check out what's happening around the concert halls. Here's Hubba with Time Saver Classics. Okay, if you're heading down to the Big Tchaikovsky Summer Series, watch out. There's been a prank outside the amphitheatre. And those off to see the Benedictine monks, remember, if you drink then chant, you're a bloody Jesuit. Okay, we're back. Next up, we cross out to the Classic Thunders to give away some more Claude Debussy prize packs. Then the better classical music continues with Frédéric Chopin, Chopinzi, right here on ABC FM. ABC FM, where you don't have to sit through this. To hear this. I've seen this happen. I was at a funeral where the coffin was delivered in the back of a black thunder. <laughs> exactly. It was well, outrageous. The great thing was, though, that every mourner got a copy of the new Paula Abdul album. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other scam. You know how you get the ashes? Like, yeah. Usually, you know, it's like, right, who wants the ashes? <laughs> now you can split it up. So okay. everyone gets a bit, treating it like a party. You yeah. know, when it's finished, you get your piece of cake and your bag of lollies. It's like, okay, here's your cake. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget your ashes. I'm so, hang on, what you're saying is they're cutting the ashes. <laughs> they're putting a bit of soap powder in there. Absolutely. And you're getting a bad cut of ash. Absolutely. <laughs> bad it's cut shocking. of granddad. <laughs> then. <laughs> then. <laughs> hey, this isn't good granddad. <laughs> this is bad granddad. It ain't the granddad I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Take this down to forensic. <laughs> Who have I got? The whole idea to me seems slightly macabre. So I think people should take more care with funeral arrangements. And I've also been working on a series of uh, recorded messages, which I reckon would be great to be buried with, and you leave in the coffin. So at that pertinent point in the funeral, the coffin goes down and the sermon's about to be read, you just hear something like this. Oh, go home, you two-faced idiots. I know you never liked me gone. Get out of it. Get out of here. Can't you let a guy rot in peace? <laughs> All right, that's for starters. Right. Uh, now, if you wanted something a little bit different, you might maybe go for something like this. Oh, what? So that's it, is it? I'll just lie here in a hole in the ground, slowly going green, while you all just go about your business. Fine. Don't worry about me. That's... Ah! Maggots! Ah! Ah! They're crawling out my ears! Ah! Help me! Help me! <laughs> oh, oh, finally. Maybe something a bit like this. Oh, excuse I. Carlton Police Station. Uh, yes, hello, I'd like to report a missing person. Right, hold the line. Hello, Senior Council Chair. Uh, yes, hello, look, I'd like to report a missing person. Alright, no worries, what's the name of the missing person, mate? Uh, Tony Martin. Tony Martin. M-A-R-T-I-N. That's right. And, uh, when was he last seen? Uh, last night, uh, round about evening, he was heading off to his Gladiators audition and I haven't seen him since. Gladiators? Yes, yes, at, uh, new show on Channel 7. Uh, alright mate, uh, could you describe him for me? Yes, uh, he's tall, uh, skinny, glasses, and a huge tattoo of an anchor down his right arm. Tattoo of an anchor? Yeah, a big one, like sailors wear. All right, mate. What's he, what was he wearing? Uh, let me see. Uh, a bandana, a patch over one eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and no pants. Oh, mate, what's your name? Pamela Anderson. Oh, good on you. 